Uh, everyone loves a bargain, don't they? Oh, absolutely. But not when it could mean sliding down the tarmac on your face. Ouch, no. After a member of the RACC team unknowingly purchased a counterfeit chain recently, we thought we'd take a look at the risks involved, how you can avoid getting scammed, and what the big brands are doing to help prevent that. Yeah, when COVID-19 uh, rid its ugly head, it brought with it some pretty bad supply chain issues that we're actually still That's feeling. That's an understatement. There were shortages of parts, and many people, us included, were left searching far and wide for certain products and components. But when they arrived, they weren't always what they said they were. Ooh. Mysterious. Now, we're going to focus specifically on counterfeit products rather than fake ones. However, something pretending to be something that it isn't is, well, it's a different kettle of fish entirely. Yeah. Firstly, I think we should understand what a counterfeit product actually is. Yeah. They usually bear the trademark of a legitimate and trusted brand such as Shimano, FSA or SRAM, uh, but they're actually produced by another party and are not made to the specifications of the original manufacturer. They're also produced illegally and sold at a profit to fund, generally, other criminal activities. Who would have thought Naughty. it? Criminals funding crime. I know. Other than the obvious ethical issues, this does raise some serious safety concerns, especially when it's components in question. Okay, Jamie, I do want to play a little game of Spot the Difference. Coming mm. up on the screen now mm. is a picture of two chain boxes. There's a chain. <laughs> now, that one was in, that one was fine. Yeah, that, that looks was fine on. to me. Um, which do you is think... Is this the game? Yeah, this is the game. Okay. Now, we're not going to sit here and watch Cyclist Compacts. Which of these do you think is uh, the counterfeit product? Yeah, well, they do look very similar, don't they? Yeah. So the packaging is obviously, well, it's a copy. And it is in fact the open packaging on the right that is counterfeit. Another chain. It is looks fine right too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we can tell from this distance, yes. obviously. So, um, yeah, can you tell us what, which one is real so and why? The one on the right is the fake. And mm. the only real thing you'll notice is that there's a bit of that kind of shiny logo missing yeah might be a bit hard to produce but that's the only giveaway on the packaging mm. that's it the font if you look really closely there is sort of a bit of differing in boldness yeah. and but stuff, which but which one would you know? if you saw them in a shop you yeah yeah wouldn't doubt it for a second well, i wouldn't anyway yeah and then okay another game yes coming up on the screen now yeah is a picture of the two chains out of the box Tell me which one is real. I have no idea. How the hell am I meant to know if that's the real deal? Not a clue. Well, funnily enough, it's the top chain that is genuine. Um, what actually gave the game away was the quick link. The uh, fake, that's the one, the quick link that's popping up on your screen now, the one on the right, it's not only stamped with different text, but it didn't actually fit together. Now, if the tolerances are that far off for the quick link, imagine if that's all the rest of the links as well. Yeah, that's gonna be just horrific. Not, if they can't manufacture a quick link, which I thought that was a fairly simple thing to manufacture, yeah. then I'm not sure at full, full chat, I want that yeah. chain. Yeah, me, really. I, I think that's going to provide some issues. Uh, now, the store where the chain was purchased from, Amazon, hastily removed the product, but we can't help but wonder how many had been sold before mm. that happened. Uh, we've also noticed an increase of reports on the Road CC forum of counterfeit goods uh, for sale on sites such as Facebook Marketplace and even some dodgy shops uh, mixing counterfeit and genuine that products. That is proper dodgy. That's a bit weird. Now, you don't need us to tell you the dangers of a chain breaking during use. The results could be catastrophic, as we all know. To minimize the chance of this happening, brands such as Shimano invest huge amounts of money in product testing, quality control, and manufacturing to ensure that components such as chains, exiting their facilities at least, are yeah. up to scratch. Uh, but what does the biggest component manufacturer say about this. Well, Shimano is aware that counterfeit products are trickling into the market and that it can be tempting to purchase parts from less than reputable sources. When we asked what measures it is taking to prevent this, Shimano said that it, is, it kind of recommends that customers basically you purchase from an authorized dealer. Further to this, uh, they said that if a consumer believed that they had purchased a counterfeit product, 
Shimano recommended that they contact their local retailer or service center for further assistance. Now that's all well and good, but surely there's a quicker way. Well, Shimano also points us in the direction of its online anti-counterfeit page and has recently been updated with some new initiatives. Since May 2021, there's been a rollout of new packaging, for example, that is supposedly harder to copy with QR codes on the products and the introduction... In oh, the introduction of a phone application. Yeah, that's the one. Funny that. So there is even an Android and iOS app, though it is only currently available in the US. Hopefully that's gonna come across to Europe soon uh, because it allows a consumer to basically scan a product and see whether it's genuine or not. Yeah, I think that'd be really good. Yeah, think nice, nice and easy. Yep. So realistically though, if you've not heard of the retailer before and the deal seemed too good to be true, then probably just avoid it. Yeah, that's, that's the advice for general buying on the internet, isn't it? Anyway, if you've got a horror story about a fake product, then please let us know down in the comments below. Remember to give a like to this video, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.